sponsored by Raid Shadow Legend. This week, we're gonna attempt to transform a 50-year-old TV into a fantasy diorama, building mountains, castle walls, and the two fantasy characters battling each other out. There are so many things that could possibly go wrong. But first, we kind of had this idea of building a diorama inside of a TV, but not just a diorama. We want to make a battle scene sort of like inside of a video game. We're gonna need a lot of things to make this happen, and some of those would be like snow particles and icicles and stuff like that. And I'm gonna try to sculpt like a castle wall and some crystals that we're gonna cast in blue resin and add some LEDs under it so they really like glow inside of the TV. Oh, I found the snow particles. And one of the cool things that we want to do is that from the back where we have sculpted the castle to the front we want to paint some three-dimensional stuff in different layers of the resin we pour inside of the TV. But first we gotta decide which miniatures we want. So we found these two characters from Raid that we think looks really awesome. Lucas wanted to do something cool with Ice Golem. And I've been wanting to paint gold non-metallic metal for quite some time now. So I found this Arbiter, which I think is pretty badass and a good gold challenge. The only problem, there are no miniatures of these characters. So... Hey Victor, what's up? Uh, hi Emil, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good. So we have this question because we're kind of working on a video. We're building a diorama and we okay. have two figures that we need sculpted. Do you happen to have any time? Okay, I don't know. I, maybe in the next month. Uh, what will you need? Uh, in like two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. I don't think that's possible. So we might have minis. Perfect. Yeah, now we can get started and building. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If you're going to build a TV diorama, Shouldn't you order the TV? Perhaps? Yes. <laughs> Also, did you guys know that this is the year where we beat out Warhammer's official YouTube channel? They're at like, what, 510,000? We're at 382. We're coming for you. So just smash the subscribe button so we can take down the behemoth that's Games Workshop. I've never opened a TV before, so I'm gonna start with this. I'm probably gonna get some help from Lucas along the way, but... Oh my god. This one's gonna need some dishing. We found some silver fish in there. It was dead. Oh my god, this is so nasty. <laughs> So we picked up a bunch of these LEDs that we're gonna put inside of the diorama. For one, lighting up the crystals, but also we're gonna need some light in there. So we're gonna have to put in all of the electronics now before we start adding any foam and stuff like that, because otherwise it's gonna be impossible to hide it underneath the diorama. So we do that now and then we get to building. Victor, the sculptor is calling. Hi, Emil. How are you doing? I'm good. You have any good news Hi, for me? You should check your mail. You have a new figure. Oh, yes. Great news. We just got the first scope by Victor. It looks fantastic. It's the ice golden for Lucas. So I'm just going to press print. And then hopefully tomorrow we can cast the torso and start making the cool glowing inside. Hopefully it won't take more than three days for him to finish the female though, because otherwise it's going to be a bit stressful for me. So while we were working, we stumbled upon this video and saw this epic door in the game. So I thought I'd scrap build one from some cardboard, coffee stirrers, and of course some plastic card. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Have you heard about Raid Shadow Legends? Me? <laughs> yeah, we've kind of made an entire video. Fantasy RPG! 600 characters! PvP! We're just throwing out popular game buzzwords, are we? Very original. Okay! Do you like elves? You know what? I actually love elves. Now, there's Dark Elves! Was that all? Lots of Dark Elves! Look at this one!
L look at it. Just look, come on, look at it. I'll give you a cookie. Did you say cookies? Okay, th that's a lie. It's a figure of speech. We're talking free epic champion, Tyrell, 200,000 silver. One energy refill, one XP boost, and an ancient char. Okay, I do love me some elves, but if you don't give me that cookie, I'll stab you. It definitely is a good time to try out Raid. As you've seen in this video, they have some awesome looking characters that you can collect and battle with. And if you follow the link down in the video description, you get that bonus pack with stuff worth $30. All the treasure is waiting for you up there. So I'm finally done cutting out and sculpting all of these rocky parts. We had this amazing idea that we'd use the on off switch from the TV to turn off and on the lights in the golem, but I need expert help. Victor, where are you? Oh my God, is he in here again? Can you help? Yeah. So the 3D prints look so amazing, I don't even know what to do with them. The 8K printer just slays it with this type of minis. And the idea with this miniature is that the open chest here is gonna be glowing blue or turquoise and maybe the neck as well. So we had this great idea that I'm gonna do a silicone mold and cast this in clear resin and add a little bit of blue ink to it. So I think that's gonna be my mission, but I've never really done a good pour. So it feels like a challenge, but I'm definitely up for it. Okay, let's see. How does one do this? I didn't make enough silicone, so I'm gonna have to mix more. And also I'm gonna see if I can find some old silicone stuff that I can cut up and put in it. So it's been resting for a while. It's finally time to cut it open and see if the cast is actually decent. And then we're gonna get to casting it. I finally managed to cut it up. I think we're gonna have a hard time getting the sword good, maybe. But yeah, it's the first time I ever do a cast for resin. So bear with me if it's not perfect. Now I'm gonna mix up some glass cast super clear resin and a few drops of this blue ink in it to really make that torso glow and look really cool now these fumes are really bad so i'm gonna use this respirator thank you guys for always pointing that out With the power of paint, I summon thee. Hey, I'm here. What do you want? I want to show you something. Remember when we put the LED in it? Let's look back. Nice job. So we poured some transparent resin into some rock mold, see kind of how it would look if we could make some crystals, and it looks quite decent, but because we are we, decent isn't good enough. So we're gonna take some of these XPS foam parts and then cut crystals from them to make them feel like the crystals in the game when you face the ice golem. And then when we have a nice crystal shape, we're gonna cast them in silicon again. Why not? And see if we can get some awesome, cool looking, glowing blue crystals in the background. I think this is gonna be so much fun. Let's just get at it. Good news, Victor sent the last sculpt yesterday evening. I've been printing it all night and now I'm excited to get started cleaning it and then I can paint it. It's looking so mighty fine. I love it. So I just primed the lady, because a lot of the stuff is gonna be gold, I thought I'll prime the miniature in like a leather brown. This is Vallejo. I also printed a bunch of references, so I'm gonna use these to see which colors she's gonna be. So now I'm just gonna get into airbrushing and painting with the brush to make it look amazing. Let's do this.
So I've been painting for the first day now and I'm super happy. I think I'm gonna be able to finish her tomorrow, which means that we're on schedule still. And I've been having really fun because painting gold is one of my favorite things. And especially when you think that it kind of looks the way that you want it to look. So just a few more hours tomorrow and then we're good. So the entire golem is assembled and I've glued it to this big cork thing and taped up the cables. So I'm just gonna cover the icy parts with this Green Stuff World masking fluid so that when I prime it, it doesn't destroy the blue texture that we created. And then we can just start painting. With the painting done, now to make it look exactly as the reference, I'm gonna add some Green Stuff World snow particles just by thinning down some PVA glue and then sprinkling this on top, which is gonna look amazing. Easy as that. How's it going for you, Emil? Kind of nice. Fuck, 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 shit. Holy fuck. Lucas, can you help me find it? I don't know where the pieces went. I just had something super fun happen. I dropped her and now she's broken into a thousand pieces. So, gluing time. I feel like that could have been a lot worse. We <laughs> managed to glue everything together. And I think with just adding one layer of paint on all of the parts, it's gonna come together. This build is probably cursed, but uh, we managed to save it. So I'm finally done with the painting and I just realized that these wing things she has on her helmet I'm missing bits from when I dropped the mini but I spent like eight hours painting it so I think uh, that's the way she's gonna look now but it's kind of cool that maybe the ice golem snapped him off with his heavy hammer so she's battle worn Everything has finally dried and now it's time to remove the liquid mask and it's super 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 scary because I've never done this before and I've actually never worked with liquid mask so can peel off the primer which I hope it doesn't do because then I have to repaint everything. The mold is done. It's looking quite decent, but as the XPS is kind of porous, uh, we have these kind of textures on here. I think we can save it and still make them look crystally if we just add like a layer of gloss varnish. So I think it's not gonna be a problem. Casting. <laughs> So some major bad news, the crystals we poured, there must have been some form of reaction. I have no idea what, but all of the crystals are just filled with bubbles and they are super soft, like I, I can bend them. We do have some old pots of clear cast resin, so we're gonna try to do another pour, but if that doesn't work, I don't know what we can do, but I think we've just followed every step the way it should have been, and I don't know how we can sort this. So let's try with the other resin, and if that doesn't work, we're gonna have to figure something else out. So the weirdest thing just happened. Lucas was overseeing the resin in the vacuum chamber and all of a sudden it just snapped and the resin just hardened in like a second. Now it's hard, the entire thing. It should take 24 hours. We're gonna try again and see if we do it in like a bigger surface, if we can empty the air faster and maybe we don't have the same weird reaction. I don't know, third time's the charm. Yes. Hell, we have resin all over. Fuck. This was my favorite day. <laughs> An hour later, fourth time is the charm. I'm having a lot of fun right now. Finally, all the stuff's in the TV. 
So now I'm just gonna channel my inner Bob Ross and prepare a happy little backdrop. So five days later, we <laughs> might have crystals done. Let's open them up, see how the end result is. So because we had this weird reaction with the silicon and the resin, I'm guessing it was because we used regular XPS foam and it's like porous. So get some bubbles in the silicon, creating bubbles in these ones. So recommendation, don't do that. So use clay or something else when you're gonna make crystals. But now we've sanded them and added a coat of gloss varnish and they look really, really nice. We're gonna get started now adding rocks on the side and making it feel like it's part of like this mountain thingy. Yeah, I really love the painting Lucas did. You haven't seen it already. So we're gonna bring out the hot glue gun, plaster rock, and resin rocks. And get at it. So I got all the rocks in place. The next step, because we don't want any resin to kind of leak through these areas and gaps, is we're gonna fill out everything with uh, Geek Gaming's modeling compound. We always use these for dioramas. And it also works as sort of a filler to act as rocks or as dirt or whatever. So we're just gonna put that everywhere and then we can start painting. How good is it looking? Super good. Lights. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. We're gonna seal the XPS foam using some PVA glue thin down and just add a layer on top of it in case there's some reaction with say resin or something like that. It's got a little bit of a protection. So you've seen us use this successfully once before in this video. Now I'm gonna raise the stakes a bit. I'm gonna try to mask off the entirety of this painting. Ah, I don't know, is it gonna peel it off? I guess we'll have to see. All the liquid mask is on, now I just have to wait and see. It's been a real hassle to try to find a nice position to paint in, but finally, I found one. So I've come to a point where the painting is starting to look pretty good, but I really wanna peel off the masking fluid to see if it's too bright or too dark with all the crystals and lights in there. Hopefully, the masking fluid doesn't just peel off everything we painted. Here we go. So now I'm just gonna attach these cool looking crystals in the back and then put some modeling compound around them to make them feel like a part of the environment. We're close to a point where we can actually do the resin pores and put in the miniatures. But we have a few more things to do. Lucas is gonna dry brush this thing over here, the black stuff in there. And then we're gonna add the snow effect. TV is done, we got all the snow in there. We got the character glued in place, not the lady, because we're gonna have to do her later. But now is the moment of truth, because now we're gonna do the epic resin pour. And if we fail this, the whole thing is gonna be worthless. And I, I don't want that. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Shit, oh. 
So we thought we had sealed everything perfectly, but apparently not because everything is just dripping out at the bottom. I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna start around and see if we can get like a ceiling in the entire thing. And then we're gonna have to redo it tomorrow because it's gonna need 24 hours. <sighs> So it's been resting for 24 hours and um, it's still soft, as you can see. So it's gonna have to rest even more. I feel like this whole project is cursed. There is nothing left in there. All of the resin have leaked out. This is the reason the manta isn't done. It's been another 24 hours and the resin is finally cured. I'm gonna see if I can peel it off and like clean up the TV. This video is taking us way too long time. It's like three weeks more than we had expected, but we're not giving up quite yet. I've actually picked up UV resin. So now we're gonna pour some UV resin and hopefully that will be enough to seal the entire thing if there's not hidden places where they can leak out more resin, which I'm assuming there is. To save ourselves the 48 hours of resin wait time, we figured we could pour some water in there to see where everything leaks out. So the backdrop is fine, but we have a major leak behind the crystals. So I'm drying up the water and then pouring more resin. Number two. Third time's the charm. Fourth time, the charm. Number 11. 15. 24. Number 30. Number 69. Eight hour work day later, we're <laughs> ready to do the pour. Oh my God, let's do this. So the second pour I've rested over the weekend and it's looking mighty fine. Oh my God, it's so clear. Now we're gonna do round number three. So we were gonna glue this lady in place here. Did we ever tell you guys that this build is cursed? Several times. It's freaking cursed. Apparently. I made too big of a pour. So there's a freaking crack across the entire freaking resin pour. And there's huge, huge bubbles behind her. So I definitely think we can save this crack by just making another pour. It's probably still gonna be visible in there, but let's just do a bunch of pours now, paint the rest of the stuff, so that we finally can show you how the end result is gonna look. Pour number six. So hopefully it's gonna be the last pour. You can see it's already, we got dressing all the way up here. So one more, I think, and then we're good. So the final pour has finally cured. Ah, it's looking so freaking awesome. It's a little bit cloudy in some places, especially around the part where it cracked, but I can't wait to show you guys the grand reveal. Before I forget it, I'm so super happy about the designs that the sculptor Victor did. If you don't know him already, go check out his Instagram because he just slayed it. Like he is such a good sculptor, so go check him out. And with that, I think it's time for a grand reveal.
Hope you enjoyed this. Massive thanks to all of the patrons to make sure that we can make these videos every month. Just fetching a few dollars just goes such a long way. Thanks to everyone who does that. And now, have a great day. Bye-bye.